Smithy, welcome back. Good friend of ours, Elliot Smith, is here from the Iowa Business Council. The 2016 Iowa Competitiveness Index is out, and well, we've got some pretty exciting companies in this state, don't we? We do. Uh, I I have the fortune, or good fortune, to represent about 25 of them, and this, they're CEOs and presidents of the largest companies here in the state. And every year they take a look at uh, those issue areas and, and some challenges the state might have in order to stay competitive you know, uh, in the long term. What we need mm -hmm. to start focusing on today uh, to, to have good, solid work opportunities for Iowans 10, 20 years down the line. Unemployment in the Des Moines metro area is something you'd find in a communist country. It's 2.9%, two, 2 I think we learned yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, almost everybody is working. Is, is that a problem for employers that the, that that pool is so small? It is a problem. There's really three factors. That unemployment rate uh, is a challenge. Uh, the participation rate, which is another metric that measures even more of how people are stepping up and trying to find work, that's high as well. So that along with our low population growth rate uh, really makes it uh, an issue for any employer, small, medium, or large sized company, to get out there and compete for those uh, individuals with the skill sets they're looking for to come in and work for them. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a great circumstance to have for a state that everyone's busy, active, and working, but it also inhibits uh, the ability to really grow. So uh, that's where the challenge lies. So we have to import people, basically. We have to keep college kids here, which I think is becoming an easier task than it was, say, 10 years ago. Well, it's it, it, development and, and retention of the students uh, here in the state, whether they're graduating high school or college, that's always uh, first and foremost, and then attracting anyone who's, who's uh, doesn't live in Iowa and has an interest in coming here. We've, we've got an aggressive program right now focused on uh, military veterans. Uh, the military is mm -hmm. being downsized by some 300,000 in the next year or two. They've been trained already, have a lot of the skill sets that employers are looking for, and uh, Iowa has stepped up and gone to the bases for uh, job fairs. And mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've had some success bringing 2,000 some military veterans here to the state already, so. You so oh, go ahead. We, I'm sorry, you mentioned skill sets. And, and from what I read, it appears that these employers are looking for people that, that, that have some training, have some education. These are good jobs that we're, we're going to be hiring for. They are good jobs. And, it, and some studies have occurred recently that predict over the next five to ten years, the available job opportunities, uh, the most available job opportunities, are going to require um, more than just a high school degree, at least a two-year um, certificate from, say, a community college, you know, some sort of degree from a community college. Certainly the four-year training is still good at universities and colleges, even uh, trade skills, uh, mm -hmm. licensures and certifications. Actually, those are the jobs that quite often employers are, are really searching hard for, those who can get out there and, and um, you know, connect your power line in the middle of a, of a blizzard. They can do the work. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Iowa, in the next uh, five years, we're predicted to lose uh, maybe up to 100,000 people simply due to retirement. Wow. So, you know, we're not even talking about new jobs being created, just those who are leaving the workforce. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the challenges are there, trying to backfill um, those, those people with the skill sets, the, the advanced skill sets that uh, will help our companies what's continue gonna, to What's going to draw people here or keep them here? Is it more than just money? Well, you know, good jobs often attract uh, people uh, from anywhere. You know, if, you, if, if, if the compensation benefits are good, you know, uh, North Dakota has had great uh, success lately in, in expanding its population and its business climate. And a lot of that's been due to the big oil boom up okay. there, uh, which may back, be backpedaling a little bit here, which is another issue, not having all your eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. Iowa is, is very good at having a diverse business uh, industry uh, segments. It's not mm -hmm. all automotive, it's not all oil, it's not all insurance, but we do have a strong financial services industry here. We have uh, um, certainly strong manufacturing, strong health and, and health care and well-being. So uh, to get people here, sure, good solid jobs uh, with benefits and an attractive uh, community. Uh, quality of life issues are always, are always important. So as we're looking at the competitive index that was released yeah. by the Iowa Business Council, what are the big takeaways uh, as we're heading into 2016? Well, it's a big, deep report, so it's not just to sit down and, and read it in five minutes and, and get everything out of it, sort of a report, but... Right, just kind of give us the highlights. Sure, I, I will tell you that the overarching uh, um, uh, theme or, or, or focus of the report is workforce, as we've just talked right. about. 
how to uh, retain and, and, and develop and attract people to Iowa. Uh, we, we try to pick out two or three um, um, areas that, that, are, that are going well. We already mentioned labor force participation rate. Iowa is, is, is right at the top of the, uh, of the ratings for states in that regard. Uh, certainly, we're one of the, uh, um, well, I mentioned on the, on the screen there, you had some of the industry areas where the state is uh, looking to, to expand uh, most um, the manufacturing was one of them, and that goes back to what you were talking about with, with training for the trades. Uh, manufacturing, welding, for these 100,000 like that. jobs that we're seeing in the next few years, manufacturing is seeing the greatest call. Kind of surprisingly, healthcare and social services uh, also hmm. are right up there. You'll hear the hospital uh, executives here in the state talk about the need for not only the specialists in particular medical fields, but the, the general care and, and elder care type folks. Uh, wholesale retail and education services. Education in particular is a concern only because a lot of our teachers are stepping up and getting to the retirement age now. Oh, right? okay. And um, you know that's, that's, that was our focus of the index last year was the challenges involved with elevating our kids uh, scores and assessment uh, test taking in, in K through 12. And certainly education and, and uh, education leadership is, is huge in those areas. So. Um, those are the four or five issue areas or, or industry segments we're looking at in terms of uh, uh, growth in the coming years. Um, uh, you know, we rank well in ACT uh, test taking the state. We're second behind Minnesota. Uh, we're one of the best run states in the, in the country according to several surveys. Uh, that means um, just a fiscal responsibility, uh, gross domestic product, unemployment rates, things of that nature. We have a, a great percentage of those uh, in the population who have health insurance. We, we track who, who doesn't have it, actually. Mm -hmm. And the state is ranked fifth in that regard. We're, we're very well covered in health insurance. And our migration, uh, that's another um, metric we're looking at. Um, challenges there. We're mm -hmm. ranked 24th. Um, so we're, that metric has been, has been going higher over the last several years. but. Really, if we're, if we're going to see those quality skill sets uh, come to the state that employers are looking for, we need to focus on bringing new Iowans here. You just don't do it during January. Right. <laughs> the, next you wanna, you sell the, the overall theme I'm hearing is education, uh, right. training education and, and making sure you're available and keeping them here Get and, the skills, and yeah. getting the skills and having our teachers in place so that we can continue to be a great state. Now, can yeah. anybody take a look at this and see what this all has laid out for you? They sure can. We have it posted on the website, iowabusinesscouncil.org, right. and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, there and available for downloading or taking a look at. So. Perfect. Wonderful. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, you. Thank 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 you.